Hey guys, it's Woo Woo Gaming TV and I'm Wilding Lady with another episode of Fortnite Save the World. So I'm here to help you, okay? So I've gotten a lot, a lot of feedback from one of the videos that I posted. And what's happening is that people are getting their heroes and they're locked and they have no idea what to do. And I've tried to send messages, but I'm starting to get a lot of people that are messaging me the same exact thing. So I figured I would do this video to help you guys figure out how to unlock something that is locked, okay? And it's super, super, super simple. And once you see what I do, you'll see, um, you'll see that it was easy, okay? So we're gonna, um, so what I did is I waited till I, have, I had locked um, heroes in order to do this video, in order for me to show you. Okay, so I opened a bunch of llamas, and what happened is all these are locked. So I have Sarah Claus <clears throat> right here. Let's look at her. There's my Sarah Claus. And then here is my Sarah Hatip. Hatip? Hatip. <laughs> I can't say her name. Okay, there isn't she gorgeous? Okay, she's a dragon. Look at her gorgeous she is. Okay, so I have her. But I can't use her, right? Because you see the little lock on her character. Aside from that, all these blue characters are locked. Now, if you look up at inventory, it says I have 315 items, but my uh, I'm, I can only have 266. So this is a little bit confusing, right? Not so much. So this is what you have to do. All right, so basically what happens is your heroes your survivors and your defenders all share the same inventory. So what you need to do is you need to clear out space with your survivors and your defenders. So I'm going to start with my defenders. Okay. And here again, you see that I have some locked items here. Okay. So here are my, um, defenders. Here we go. So here are my defenders now that we have the right things set up. So here are my defenders and I want to get rid of the low level ones here. Okay. So I, I don't want them. So I'm going to go ahead and batch retire, which I'm going to hit square and obviously whatever, um, console you're playing on, you're going to, you know, read whatever's at the bottom to tell you what you're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and retire this one right here. And now she's retired. Okay. Um, I'm also, I'm not going to mess with this one because I'm going to show you something else. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that. Then I could either, again, put them in my collection book. Okay. So this one I can actually put in my collection book, which I'm going to show you right now. So how you do that is you look at the little book icon at the top and you know that all these can be put in your collection book. Okay. But I don't necessarily want to put all these in my collection book because I want to check my survivor my survivors to see if any of these are viable or I can put them in my um, in my survivor slots but I know this green one I'm not gonna keep so I'm gonna go ahead and add to collection book all right there we go so that one has been added to the collection book now I'm gonna see what I have sitting here and it looks like I have these green ones so I'm gonna get rid of this this one right here I'm going to retire this one and it's going to give me times 200 survivor XP, which is fine. Okay. So another, another, um, tip that I have for you guys is these green ones are slotted as well, right? Cause I still, I have inventory of 312. I still haven't unlocked, um, things because they're still showing locks. So, but what I suggest is that you go ahead and transform your green ones into blue survivors because when you um if you don't use the the blue ones you're going to be able to take their manuals otherwise if you have green ones and i'll show you what i'm talking about because you're probably like wait what is she talking about okay so let's say this particular character if i was to melt if i was to retire this character I'm going to get one training manual and 750 XP. So that's good. You're going to need those training manuals. So the more you get, the better. But if I was to retire one of these green ones, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, all I'm going to get is XP, but I'm not going to get a manual. So I want to make all these into blue, basically convert them, AKA transform them, which is here 
into a blue one, <clears throat> excuse me, so that I can get a manual for it. So I'm gonna scroll to the appropriate place. I'm gonna go, see now they're locked, so I can't do it right now. Um, okay. Well, that's not gonna work. So what I wanted to do was take these low level ones, but it looks like I'm not gonna be able to. So I'm gonna have to get rid of some blue ones. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so hmm, let's go ahead and do that because I know I'm not gonna keep any of my blue ones. Okay, so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna batch retire. So I'm gonna click all these because I'm gonna just melt them. I like to say melt, but actually it's retire. Take all these and out of all those, okay, I'm gonna get 10,000 XP, survivor XP, and I'm gonna get 14 manuals. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. So now I have freed up some room, but it looks like I still have a lot to go through. So I'm gonna do a few more here. Retire those. Okay, here we go. So that's kind of unlocking things. Get rid of these two blue ones. Retire. All right, so that unlocked another one. I'm gonna retire this guy. There we go. Okay, so we're almost there. I kind of have to go through those purple ones. All right, so let me go back to my defenders and let me get rid of... So what I could do is I could transform these blue ones into a purple. If I have a, I do, let's see. Oh no, those are heroes. Mm. So this would give me blue, but then these would give me a purple item. Okay, so let me show you how to transform something a little bit higher level. So uh, let's see, why don't we try and get a schematic for an epic. So I need 200 points. So I'm not obviously not gonna, well, let's see, I might have to use one of those. So this one's gonna give me 80. All right, and then I'm not gonna use any of those. Here we go. I can use this blue one and I'll use another blue one. And there we go, there's my um, XP for a purple um, assault rifle. So I'm gonna, and plus down at the bottom it says it's gonna take 75 research points. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. What do I get? Okay, so I get a copper razor wire. Okay, let me go ahead and take this out and let me see how many, if my heroes have been unlocked. Okay, here we go. So if you saw earlier, I did not have this particular character unlocked, my Sarah Hot Top, Hot Tip. <laughs> I didn't have it unlocked, but now I do because I, I made room. All right, so let me see. Um, so I really wanna unlock this purple one as well. So let me get rid of this one. I'm gonna batch retire her, this guy, this one. There we go, that made up some more room. Oh, and that gave me this blue one. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure it doesn't go, yeah, no, all right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and retire this one and I'll get a training manual for her. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna retire this one. I almost have to do it one at a time because it's only unlocking one at a time. Okay. So I still don't have a whole lot of room, but that's okay. Because again, I have to clear out my other items. So I'm going to make this a favorite because I want to keep her. I want to keep this one. I want to make sure I don't accidentally melt them. Okay, now let me go. All right, well, I, can, I know I can do survivors though. I can go in here and look at my survivors and see if I can replace any of them. Okay, so with the survivors, uh, as you can see that the leader match has a check mark. That means that the person that's in my leader squad matches the EMT squad and I get a bonus for that. But if I wanted to change these 
they all have check marks. I'll show you one that doesn't have a check mark. So for instance, let's go to my fire team alpha and this has a check mark, this has a check mark, and this does not, which means that it does not match, but it's the best one that I had. Um, so let me see if I can find a better one. So now I opened up change and press down the L button. And if I put this, oh, look at that. So if I put this legendary in there, it gives me a check mark. It gives me a personality match of five out of seven. But if I put this one in, this one actually gives me a better, uh, a better match. It gives me shield bonus two of two personality match. So I'm going to go ahead and put this teamwork. One there we go. Okay. I'm happy with that decision. And now look at this. Everybody in here is pretty much lit up. I could still just kind of check to see if I have anything better, but as you can see, no, that's not going to work. Change again. No, because I lose, I'm going to lose something. So I'm going to leave everybody alone in there. Now everybody's perfect in that group. The only thing that I need to do is just level up this, uh, this number 19, but I'll do that in a moment. Uh, how about over here? Is there anybody that needs to be re changed? No, I won't get, I lose bonuses if I change it. Okay. Let's go here and who does not match. All right. This one, this legendary survivor change. Anyone better? Oh, this one is way better. So I'm going to go ahead and change this one because this one has the personality match, whereas this one did not. So I'm going to go ahead and change it, even though I was a level 70 with that one. So I'm going to take that one. Teamwork. Off. Oh, but it doesn't. Did it give me a leader match? Oh, but this one isn't. Mm, this one doesn't even have the leader match. Let me check this real quick. Oh, how funny. This one does give me the check mark. Hmm. So what do I want? I have like decisions to make because this character actually gives me the check mark, but it's definitely going to bring me lower, which I don't want to do that, but it does give me that. And it's only a green one. It's like, it's an uncommon survivor. Huh? Decisions, decisions. Let me, let me play with I that. can do this. So it gives me that check mark. Okay, so then this one gives me another check mark. What a team! Another one. This one gives me another check mark. Good team. And this one. This one has nobody. So I could technically put her in because she's pretty high level. And then let's see this one. Nope. But I can put this one back in and that gives me a higher level. And then I'll probably just leave this one. Yeah, I'll leave this one. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. As you can see, I have three that don't light up or that don't have the, the right match, the personality, the fragment and but they're at least high level, so I'm going to leave them. And then I'm going to leave this one in there, even though he's, um, but I can always, uh, he matches completely this one. So I'm going to leave him in there because I finally have a check mark in there, even though he's very low level. Okay. So pretty much, I think I've, I've fixed everything that I want to in my defender squad. So now I'm going to go back to my defense, to my survivors. Did I say defenders? I'm in survivors. <laughs> it's late. Okay. Um, all right. So now I know that I don't need any of these, any of these purple. Now I'm going to go ahead and see if I need to slot anything, which it looks like I can slot these two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put them in the collection book. Oh, it brought me back here. Thank you. Okay. And then, uh, that was odd. Okay. And then add this one to slot item and then this one to the collection book. All right, sweet. So now we're making some more room. So now I'm going to finish making the room that I need. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and retire. Oops, wait, 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 let's batch retire. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that one. We're going to get rid of this. All these purples right here. Wait, before I do that, I wanna look at my transformation. Let me see how much that those purples are worth for an item. Sleep. Uh, let's go for, oh, this one's only 500. Well, that's okay. Let's do that. Let's do a pistol. There we go. And then basically I need what? 75 more. 85 more there we go no we're almost there five more if I could do this that one okay cool let's go ahead and transform it's gonna use 200 research points let's see what I get Copper Space Invader. Oh, sweet. I didn't have that one. All right. All right, sweet. Okay. So I might have enough to do another one. Um, Constructor Schematics. Legendary. That takes a thousand. That's five hundred. So there really isn't much other. Th let's see. Let's try. I just want to see. Um, well, no. Um, okay, one of those. A few of these. And then five more. All right, should we do it? Should we do it to get a melee weapon? Let's try it. Why not? Copper Storm Chaser Revenge. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so I think I'm done with that. So let me go back to my survivors. And see, oh, see that freed up some more space. So now I'm at inventory of 276 out of 266. Okay, so I got a lot of work to do. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of these. And I'm not gonna, let me see if I can, how many more do I need to get rid of? Let's see, okay, I'm gonna get rid of those. It puts me at 271. Oh, that freed up all these green ones. Oh wait, but I don't want to get rid of those. Let me go back to my transformation. I know it seems like a lot of work, but in the end, it'll 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 pay off. So here's a bunch of those green ones. So here's a green one, another green one, another green one. There we go. There we go. So that should give me a blue one. Perfect. And I don't care because I'm going to get a manual for it. So let me go back here. And now I can get rid of these. That one. And get rid of those. There we go. So now you see the inventory is yellow, which means that I am okay. I can, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Batch retire. Okay, so now I have tons of room. Okay, so here, the end result is I go to my heroes and now I have everything unlocked. I hope you like, I hope you like this video. I hope that this helped you. Now you're gonna know how to unlock your characters that are locked up and that you thought you couldn't get and couldn't use but now they're unlocked and you'll be able to put them into your hero slot 
and I'll show you what I mean because you saw in the beginning of this video that they were locked so now there you go there's my character I can now level her up I can uh, play with her in the matches and that is how you do that hit the like button if this helped you hit the subscribe if you want more videos I really really appreciate all the help that I can get on the channel and thank you so much for uh, for supporting me. Yeah. For real. My favorite time.